not mal hier and it's a right here at Sevo of Rasput. And the product that's going on, Bank of Ghana, the situation that we are facing. And we are here to hear from our people what they have to say and why they are here to protest against that. So stay put for more details. That is my name. I'm former general, general secretary of the NDC. And currently, I'm the MP for Laura. Mm. I travel here today. I travel all the way from Laura yesterday to participate in today's demonstration. Well, it is important that we do this demonstration. We have sat down for some time for a group of people to destroy this country. And it is time for us to say enough is enough. That's the reason why I'm here. The Bank of Ghana is being destroyed by the central, the, the governor and the, the deputies. And this is as a result, this is a, as a result of the reckless and careless management of the economy by the Minister of Finance and the Economic Management Team. After they have mismanaged the economy and it is in shambles, they now go to the governor of the Bank of Ghana to give them a bailout. And the bank of the, the governor also goes ahead to give them the bailout without any authority from parliament. And so we are here to say we are not going to accept this type of situation. We want the governor of the Bank of Ghana out. He and his deputies, they should be out because they are not capable of managing the economy. They are not capable of managing the central bank. This is the first time in the history of this country that the central bank of Ghana has registered losses. And the last time that they mentioned the figure, they said it was 60.8 billion Ghana cities, which, which loss has been recorded by the Bank of Ghana. It's unprecedented. It never happened. And so we are here to protest against all these matters. To that particular situation is the fact that even whilst we are incurring losses, the Bank of Ghana is incurring losses, the Bank of Ghana is going ahead to pump money into the construction of what they call a Bank of Ghana head headquarters. And this amount of money which is being pumped into this is the two of two hundred and fifty million dollars. And I can't I can't believe it because I still recall, I still recall that when Kupo came into office in 2001 and the MPP thought that they needed some support to be able to run the economy, they were looking for loans. And one of the loans that they were supposed to have gotten was, uh, I think it was, yes. It was one billion. No, no, no. Sorry, I beg you. It was one billion dollars. Yes, one billion dollars. I think so. One billion dollars. They were looking for a loan of one billion dollars in those days. Today, we can afford to throw away two hundred and fifty million dollars in the name of, of of constructing a bank of Ghana head office. When the whole nation, at some point in time, we needed one billion dollars and we couldn't even get it because. The Kupon government could not get that $1 billion. And so we are here to protest against 
the reckless and the careless management of our economy, which has been occasioned by the mismanagement of the economy management team, the Minister of Finance, and now being supported by the governor of the Bank of Ghana. historic we are sending a clear message to the nation workers who are bent on destroying this country by using people like Addison who has allowed himself to be used as a private tool for the destruction of our economy we are telling them that enough is enough the people are angry and we are saying that this land belongs to all of us and they must stop destroying our country today inflation is 40.1 percent at the point, inflation was 54.3%, and the reason why inflation continues to rise is that the governor of the Bank of Ghana, who is supposed to be independent, has allowed himself to be used as a tool for destroying this economy. Last year alone, he printed money for this government to the tune of 7.2% of GDP, and all of this has culminated into the kind of economy that we have today. Today, you and I cannot afford school fees. We cannot afford medical bills. We cannot afford to feed. And we are saying that enough is enough and Addison must resign. Okay. I'm on the She said, you're going to have You're real. You're in quite a lot of money. You're going to have a If you say, I'm going to have a bank. I'm going to have a bank. I'm going to have a bank. I'm going to have you <laughs> Well, 